These celebs were not invited, cordially or otherwise. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebs who've been banned from talk shows. For this list, we're going over the famous people who've reportedly been barred from appearing or aren't welcome on talk shows, either for previous behavior on the show or just on principle. We'll be excluding celebs banned from other live format shows like Saturday Night Live, since that already has a list of its own. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you. Uh -huh. Number 10, The Kardashians, Anderson Live. This family's reality stardom has made them a pop culture phenomenon. However, with that fame has come backlash at how pervasive they are. Do you watch, do you watch The Kardashians? I've actually never once seen the show. I don't show. believe that. I swear to you. Really? In my life. I swear to you. I've never once seen a show, nor, I think, no. nor will I. One such critic is Anderson Cooper, who claimed during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen that none of the Kardashians would ever appear on his show because they were already everywhere else. The fact that Khloe Kardashian tweeted her love for Cooper around the same time is pretty bad timing, but given that Cooper's talk show is no longer around, the family probably doesn't have to worry about the ban any longer, if they ever did. Number 9. Howard Stern, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno as the host of his own long-running radio talk show, Howard Stern has drawn plenty of controversy over the years. But Howard, I think it's edited out. You really do think it'll be edited out? It's beyond my control, Howard. I don't believe it. Let me try. This is it. has never shied away from speaking his opinions, and his criticism of former Tonight Show host Jay Leno did not even stop when Stern appeared on Leno's show. Stern's behavior on set, including bringing scantily clad women on stage and interrupting the other guests' interviews, apparently got him banned and even publicly trashed. I got a sore throat, but I want to ask Howard. Oh, this sorry. is going to be a great segment. <laughs> Gene's got a sore throat. Shut him down, Gene. Yeah, go ahead, Gene. Despite the media's portrayal of a so-called long-standing feud, and Stern being supposedly threatened by NBC executives for voicing his hate, Leno himself appears to have nothing but respect for Stern. Or at least his views of him have changed as time went on. What do you think of Howard Stern? Oh, I think he's really talented. I think he's a good interviewer. I mean, he gets things out of people. You know, I used to do a show all the time before yeah. all this started, so I just looked at it as... It's a business, and that's part of the business. Number 8. Gary Busey, The Howard Stern Show Gary Busey is infamous for his, let's say, sometimes erratic behavior. A head injury can do that to a guy. If I can ask you to stop talking for a minute. That's impossible. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I can, oh, oh, Gary, no, where are you going? <laughs> oh, he's coming up. Don't come over and hurt me. I'm having an interview. Wait. <laughs> it happens every time. Yeah, I'll, be nice. I'll tell you what promise keeps you going. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because I like to be close to you. See, I told you it'd be hard to be your son. But the actor's bizarre temperament while appearing on The Howard Stern Show meant that he was never asked back. Most notably, Busey hugged Stern's co-host and kept trying to keep the bear hug going until they were on the floor and then he wrestled Stern. Busey has since claimed that he has multiple personalities and that one of them was responsible for the incident. Oh, You're next. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Whoever the culprit is, the fact is Busey will not be returning to Stern's show. Number 7. Vince Vaughn, The Ellen DeGeneres Show Unless you're big fans of these actors, you probably don't remember that Vince Vaughn and Kevin James were once in a Ron Howard-directed buddy comedy about adultery. Hey, I need to do this. Let me show you how this is done. Critics were not kind to it, and neither were moviegoers. In fact, it didn't even make back its $70 million budget. However, those may not have been the only reasons why the dilemma barely made a dent in movie history. The story goes that CNN anchor Anderson Cooper brought it to Ellen DeGeneres' attention that there was an offensive line about homosexuals in the trailer. This allegedly led Ellen to ban Vaughn from her talk show, or at least to prevent him from doing any promotion of the 2011 movie on it. In any case, the ban seems to have been temporary, as Vaughn has appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show since. I don't know what she does. She's a very nice woman. She's out there working, and bless her heart, and she yeah. did not smell good at all. Right. right. <laughs> Number 6. Jay Leno, Conan this one is a no-brainer, folks. In 2009, with Jay Leno's contract with NBC due to expire, the network went forward as planned to hand over the reins of The Tonight Show to Conan O'Brien. Great! I'd love to do five more years. And that was six months ago, and then time went by. Uh, there's all talk about Conan O'Brien. Will he go to ABC? Will he go to one of these other networks? And, and they came to me and they said, we don't want to lose Conan O'Brien. 
And I said, oh, okay, what does that mean? However, in a bid to keep Leno on the network, they retained him in a new variety show. And then he says, uh, you know what, I'd, I'd, uh, I'm having trouble staying up this late. Is that how... <laughs> Is that how it happened? That's exactly what it happened. I see. He, he said, it's ruining my home life. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, home uh, life. So I can't. Right. He said, is there any chance you could uh, put me on a little earlier? So they put him on at uh, 10 p.m. with a fantastic variety show. When ratings weren't great, executives aimed to bump Leno back to his previous time slot and Conan after him. I've been giving this situation a lot of thought. You know, this is a true story. When I was a little boy, I remember watching The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson and thinking, someday I'm going to host that show for seven months. <laughs> Understandably upset that Leno went along with NBC's decision, Conan has gone on record saying that he won't ever have Leno on his self-titled TBS show. Number 5. Hugh Grant, The Daily Show Given that The Daily Show is a show often reliant on political humor, one might expect someone banned from the show to be involved in some part of the political process. Presidential politics. Shake up in Republican Village. New candidates in, old candidates out, losing candidates winning, crazy candidates sane. And it all happened here. <laughs> Ames, Iowa. Instead, it was English leading man Hugh Grant that got the boot while Jon Stewart was behind the desk. During Grant's appearance in 2009, he was reportedly rude to people backstage and generally in a foul mood, which earned him a ban from the show. Grant has since owned up to his bad behavior at the time, so at least he knows he did something wrong. Number 4. Kelsey Grammer, Pierce Morgan Live. Pierce Morgan is somewhat well known for banning several people from his former talk show. She was in The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and so you would pop in and out, and the whole kind of unraveling of that marriage. Right. The fact that Howie Mandel, his former co-judge on America's Got Talent, is one of them is understandable. The two of them did not get along. But one surprise was when he banned Kelsey Grammer. Grammer was scheduled to appear on the show in 2012, but left after a picture of his ex-wife was shown in the opening credits. Well, Kelsey was supposed to appear on the show last night, but he has this rule that he won't talk about Camille because he hates Camille, but Piers Morgan showed a photo of Camille in the show open and... And he saw the opening and then he walked off. Although Grammer was prepared to discuss his ex on air, and had even done so on the show before, he'd requested that a picture of her not be shown. And so, the interview never happened. And while we're on the subject of Piers Morgan, Number 3. Pierce Morgan, The Rosie Show Always one to make friends. One of Pierce Morgan's other band guests was Madonna, who Morgan thinks is, quote, incredibly annoying, leading to the singer's moratorium from his show. Pierce, when you were at CNN, you were known for banning celebrities. Yes. Yes, you were yeah. from the show. And I want to know who they were and why you banned them. Uh, who were the top ones? Madonna was always the first one I banned. Why? Because she's so incredibly annoying. However, this ban actually led Morgan to be banned from another show himself, as Rosie O'Donnell, out of loyalty to her friend Madonna, banned Morgan from her own talk show. Still, given that O'Donnell later appeared on Morgan's show herself for a candid interview and even guest hosted it, it's clear they made up later. Though her own show's cancellation may have made the point moot anyway. We're here with Rosie O'Donnell filling in for Piers and You've been on the show before as a guest. We yes. know what to expect. Honest, passionate. What can we expect from Rosie the host? Pretty much the same. Number two, Joan Rivers, The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. For many years, Joan Rivers and Johnny Carson were great friends, with the comedian being a frequent guest on The Tonight Show. Oh, so with true. age comes wisdom. Wisdom with age, of with course. Yes. It's all in the book. All in the book all here. The book. However, all that changed after Rivers got her own talk show on the new, at the time, Fox Network. Carson, who had a tradition of having new talk show hosts appear on his show before their premieres, felt betrayed by his longtime friend, and not only banned Rivers from the show, but reportedly never spoke to her again for the rest of his life. When Jay Leno took over hosting duties and during Conan O'Brien's brief tenure, the band seemingly continued as well, with Rivers only appearing on the show again once Jimmy Fallon became host. I have a photo of you. This is uh, you and uh, right in this same studio, 1965. Uh, you and Johnny. Knock out, pal. Second night that I was on, That's and right. I had been working eight years in Greenwich Village and nothing, and he said, God bless him, you're going to be a star. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Kathy Griffin most of them. Kathy Griffin is quite the comedian, seemingly drawing controversies like a magnet. Ellen called me. She was extremely upset and um, she uh, was really, I think, maybe trying to put me in my place a bit, but I, I wasn't having it. 
So uh, it was quite an interesting conversation. It should be no surprise then that in terms of the number of talk show bands, she is easily the number one, at least in terms of quantity. Her bands include Leno, Ellen, The View, Live with Regis and Kelly, The Today Show, and Letterman, among others. You know, she has called me scum on the show. She has? Yes! Oh, oh, to your yeah. face, behind your back. Oh, on my back, of course. Behind my back, of course. Oh. But anyway, um, but yeah, so she wanted to throw down with me, and we have different <laughs> political differences, which, which is fine. While she has managed to get several of them lifted, she's also been re-banned from others. So clearly, her style of humor and conversation is not always suited for every talk show. You're banned now from The View? That's a lifetime. That's a lifetime ban. <laughs> it comes right what from Barbara Walters. What did you do that got you? Oh, Barbara Walters banned you. Right from the top, honey. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.